Well, Gary, final game for pre-season today. How do you think it went today for the boys? Um, probably a match of two halves. The first 15 minutes, we hardly touched the ball, you know, which what you, you, we need to address because it seems to be every every week we play on this pitch. Mm. Really slow starters, you know, so um, we, we need to sort that out, pour it down, kept the ball well, moved it well, and looked quite dangerous, you know, for the first 15. But yeah. after that, you know, I think, especially the second half, I, th- I thought we, we edged it. Yeah, but they've played a lot better in the second half. Would you agree with that one? Yeah, especially the last 20 minutes, we created three or four really good chances, mm. you no. know, but um, it's disappointing not to put them away, you know, but look, it's, it's all geared towards next week and, mm-hmm. and it's just everybody's, I think, singing off the same hymn sheet as far as pre-season goes, you know, yeah. it's about fitness. Well, if pre-season now over, I mean, what positives can you take from the games that we've had, because we have had some typical games over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, well, the last three, you know, the, the Ballymena, um, Glenavon and Glen Torm are really pleasing, mm. you know, you're, you're playing, you know, top of possession and you know okay it was probably times in the game where they had a lot of possession but it's like three really good performances three really pleasing performances I don't know if it day, the day we took her started a wee bit slower we took her food off the gas or whatever you know but as I say we've told the boys the, the main aim is, is for next Saturday against Ards we need to get fitness we need to get into good habits um, disappointingly we can see it from an hour set piece yeah. so Obviously, all, some positive you obviously took from pre-season. Obviously, now with the likes of uh, players coming back from injury as well. I mean, Dainsey got a couple of minutes today as well. He was playing there during the week as well for the 20s, which is positive going forward. Would you agree with that? Delighted for Dainsey. You know, he's come back. It's been a long road. He, he got injured here in the first game of a, of a new stadium yeah. last October. You know, and everybody thought it was pretty innocuous. You know, he'd be back in a few weeks. So, but it ended up being a, a, a really bad break. Mm-hmm. So, absolutely delighted for the wee man. He came on today and does what Dainsey does. You know, keeps it simple. Breaks play up and absolutely delighted for him and a few wee knocks now and there but they're on their way back and then obviously Spike's on his way back in a couple of weeks which is another big massive bonus huge bonus you know at this level you know there's not too many better in Spike you know we've missed him for two years um, you know as I say uh, young Oshin is, is a maybe a bit of concern he seems to have heard us stay Barrett's playing games you know the last three or four weeks he hasn't been, been used to be playing you know it's been high intensity he's played every minute you know so fingers crossed we are out um, whatever mistakes we made today and get players you know who are, who are near in fitness back mm. now you brought a couple of faces in we saw them today we got photographs with the boys today you're happy enough for the transfer business you've done and will we see any more coming in there's a possibility we'll be seeing more coming in you know we're still ready to begin now August you know we've got until the 31st you know as I say players are still playing for, for their position for for their for their future you know because in the end of the day we can't stand still as a club we need to keep mm-hmm. moving mm-hmm. and we do know what we need you know whether you, you can get you know, you're lucky enough to get what we need that's another question. So you're happy enough with the business you've done so far? Delighted with the players, yeah, we've, we've brought in, yeah, all, all very good players. Again, you know, young, young East Ocean's hurt his thigh, fingers crossed, not too bad, and then Johnny Fraser with a hamstring, Yeah. you know, which is probably a worry. You know, he he missed probably a couple of months last year, we got him on loan in January. And he's done the other one, but he, he, he seems himself, it's not, seems himself that it's uh, not as bad as... as uh, previous and a bit of positive as well a lot of the 20s have been knocking your door over pre-season as well I mean there's a good amount of players there you could probably pick into as well would you, would you say that there because I mean, they have done a pretty good pre-season themselves yeah they've been excellent they come in you know they come in against Linfield you know obviously one of the toughest matches they'll ever yeah. play and, and probably far higher uh, an opposition that they've ever played against obviously but no they've, they've done great and it's great for us you know that Mark's put a good team together, and, and you know, obviously with the setup we have, you know, probably a bit like us, you know, you're you're gonna you can attract better players. It's nice to hit it to have though to have those options in it. Oh, it's hundred <laughs> percent, yeah. You know, you're you're snooker without them. You know, we we're probably going with a squad around twenty, maybe maybe twenty two, depending. You know, we're starting the season with a couple of players who are are injured. You know, so we need to be careful there. So all set for next week then. Yep, all set for next week as far as well as we can be. We'll, and ours will make it difficult for us because I mean they've made a few sentences themselves and they're going to come here looking yeah. to make it difficult for us. Ours will fans themselves as one of the you know the promotion favourites. You know they're a big club in a big town. You know so as I say, um, I'm sure plenty of resources. But they'll be coming here. I'm sure very confident and, and uh, believing that they can beat us.